Welcome everyone to round... I've lost count. Uh, for Octane Online Racing. Did I get that one right? I'm, not, I'm just going to continue. Uh, you can see here I'm checking the weather and um, getting my setup right. Um, it was going to be a dry race, dry um, quali as well. Um, just adjusting a few settings uh, last minute there. Um, and then of course going back in to make sure that I... Um, at the right amount of fuel, uh, you can see me adding a little bit more there. Uh, I put 10 laps worth in uh, with the super softs, and the plan was to go out and um, just get a couple of laps in, uh, a couple of banker laps, get my head into it. Um, yeah. So, as we come out of the pits, we suddenly held up Markalay, who looks like he's doing the same strategy going into the softs, but. Um, yeah, coming out of the pit lane, um, you'll see just a couple of short um, lap times, if you will. So there's one. Here's another. Uh, but eventually I decided to go out onto the um, Ultra Softs, and um, you'll see that lap now. So there you have a bit of a uh, hot mess of a lap, but nonetheless it puts us in P8. Um, Rosatra in P1, well done to him. Uh, Mushu second, uh, Nipple in third. Um, he's the bloke who's replacing Elusive. Um, his actual name in Discord is Celebi, so I don't know whether he's had, had time to change his name on Steam, or vice versa, maybe we'll be calling him Nipple in the future. <laughs> um, Nostalgic Meep in fourth there, uh, and I have to make a public apology uh, for France. I said that he had got P3 in qualifying. Nostalgic had actually placed P2, so I'm sorry, mate. Um, apparently, he's now seeing a psychologist, taking some medication. Uh, it's really fucked him up, apparently. So, uh, look, mate, um, just have your people contact my people, and uh, we'll sort something out. I'll pay for the bills. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, the other... Thing I need to say is I want to uh, thank two people. Um, rooting for you. Show them what you can do. Thanks, Jeff. Um, I just want to thank two people, uh, Sumo Sniper in my own Discord, um, uh, which, by the way, if um, nobody's aware, there's a link in the description below if you want to join the team, and uh, Tony Pepperoni. They both spent a lot of time uh, going through some practice videos um, that I uploaded onto YouTube. Um, making annotations, screenshots, diagrams, drawings. Um, I'm sorry, boys, but um, I don't feel like I improved at all, um, and I, I let you down. Um, I feel like you've wasted your time, but I, I want to just thank both of them. Um, so that's Sumo Sniper and Tony um, Pepperoni. So thanks, thanks, boys. Um, but let's, uh, let's get straight on to the race. So we've got five red lights. We're missing Hyped Up Gaming. He uh, disconnected last minute, um, so unfortunately we've lost him. So, uh, But we have five red lights, and away we go. We're already in P7. How good is that? <laughs> uh, take the inside line and get shunted by someone. I think it might have been Stalkin, but um, can't tell. Uh, and that's fine. We're going to catch him back up anyway. Probably illegal overtake, maybe. Um, but that's uh, still P7. How good is that? <laughs> Uh, the minor damage didn't seem to affect me too much, the wing damage. Um, Arkalay, just um, a bit of initial D shit right there. Um, that means we're P6, how good is that? Um, now i got to catch up to um, Nostalgic Me, um, who's uh, chasing down... I can't see who that is in front of him, and I have forgotten. Someone in front of him. Um, 
It was a close close battle there at the start. Um, I've gone a bit wide there, but I suppose so has he. Um, managed to catch up a bit of space. I was quite nervous. I obviously wanted to really get around him, but... Um, okay, that's a good start. Keep it up. Thanks, Jeff. Uh, uh, but kept making sort of little silly mistakes myself, so... Um, took that a bit wide. I was actually surprised I didn't get um, track extension warnings. Um, certainly didn't help me, so probably best I didn't. Um, we're battling with Dan Man, who's right behind us there. Um, he and I think Marclay are going to have a crack at me in a, in a second here. Um, I'm just checking the tyre wear. It's already quite bad. I did actually do two laps on these tyres in quali. Uh, and it has affected us for the first time in a while. Uh, it, normally every race um, we have to restart for one reason or another. And um, it's meant that we've uh, we've all had fresh tyres. But um, uh, it's actually not the case for the first time since, I want to say, China. Uh, so there you go. Um, Nipple had a bit of an incident there. There's And there's an, another incident right there in front of us as I say that. Uh, between him and Nostalgic Me. Uh, he manages to get the position back though. We are right on Nostalgic's tail there. I thought about diving down the inside, but um, thought better of it uh, at the end there, and um, and it's slowed me up. And I've got Dan Man now, really, um, really sniffing my trail. Uh, and he's going to have a move down the inside here. I've got to leave him space around the outside. Is not going to go well, and uh, he and Mark Lee are going to get that position. So that's uh, it's a bit unfortunate, but um, that's fine. Uh, we're just going to power on. There we go, we're going to have DRS down this next straight to catch Mark Lay and Dan Man, hopefully. Uh, we've got wired up uh, on our tail here, as we will see in a second. There he is. He's not far behind. He may have DRS. Might have been close enough for that, I don't remember. Um, breaking late, because I don't want to lose these boys, and um, I've just broken too hard. Dan Man's obviously had to slow up to let Mark Lay on the inside. Uh, and, uh, yeah. and so we're going to box, unfortunately. Thank you, Jeff. Is the sky also blue? Um, yeah, see, we're, we're just understeering really bad. Ah, oh, there's the past hyper Aussie was talking about. Um, no, mate, you didn't affect me. It was fine. <laughs> the answer to his question earlier in the week. Um, yeah, plan was to go into the super softs, run those for as long as I could um, on a bit of a longer stint, uh, and then there was probably going to have to be another pit for ultra softs. So, um... Let's do that now. Oh yeah, how good was that five second stop and go penalty that I'm going to have to serve? Oh. So, here we go. We're right at the bottom of the grid, but hopefully we can... That. That right there is what made me really salty at this race, is my own stupidity. Uh, and I am going to have to box for a new one because I, I understeer like a motherfucker through these corners. Um, and so I'm, I'm thinking immediately that that is just, that's race gone. Um, uh, I feel so deflated just re-watching this right now. Um, they're suggesting doing ultra softs to softs. Um, and I say that is a good idea. Let's go into the fastest compound tire now uh, and try and um, make up some ground, and then go on to the uh, to the softer compound uh, or the harder compound tire. Sorry, uh, towards the end of the race. So with the softer compound tire on, we're um, chasing down Nipple to try and unlap ourselves. Um, he got past us just as we came out of the pits. Um, but uh, we seem to have a bit more pace than him. Obviously, fresher tires. So. Uh, going to try and make a move down the inside. It was pretty clean, pretty clean. Um, he loses the back end and um, thankfully we have DRS so uh, flag, we make that work. Uh, I'm ignoring the blue flags just for a moment because I want to see how my pace is versus him. Um, and uh, I think it was okay from memory. Um, we, we managed to sort of pull away and um, trying to catch down uh, Oswegian now. Uh, actually, I forgot how very little happened in the race for me. Uh, it wasn't until lap 25 that I actually saw some action. Uh, a couple of retirements put me up into P12. Uh, we make a move on Cresty here, who looked like he was defending the inside, but um, nice work. That you up the place. just had a bit too much um, 
momentum through the corner, I think is the word I'm looking for. Uh, we're now going to chase down uh, Barefoot, and I do remember that, that actually happened. So let me just cut to that clip. Just uh, where's the button here? Yeah, here we go. Um, now, uh, we're chasing down Barefoot, but um, we've had stalking about Pit behind us, and that's put us over to P10. Um, so we're actually going to earn a point after um, the terrible bloody start we had. So we're chasing down Barefoot now. Um, and uh, he's going to go wide for me, aren't you, mate? Yeah, beautiful. Thanks, mate. Um, and let me through. So <laughs> that's P9. Um, and now we've earned, what is it, two points? But Stalkin... Hmm. Stalkin's coming. Yeah, as you can see, wire it up is a bit too far up ahead, I think. Um, I said to Barefoot over the, um, the Discord channel, I said, mate, keep stalking behind you. <laughs> it's like, please, <laughs> if I want to recover any anything from this race, please, I'd love ninth. Um, and uh, and he did do his best. I think he does keep stalking back for a little while. So um, uh, commendable effort there um, from my teammate um, to fall on his sword <laughs> and lose a spot to me and to Storkin as uh, as you see in the rear view there. I think uh, Storkin's going to have him down the straight. Yeah, there it is. He's pinged him. Uh, so Storkin's coming. Um, something's obviously happened. We're on old soft tires and he is on ultra soft. So fuck. Well, that's an interesting development. For all my penalties and problems, I don't actually have any time penalties. I served my five second stop and go penalty when I went onto the sauce, so I have no more penalties. Storkin has three. So, in the, what's that, three laps that we have left to go, that he has to chase me down? There's four laps of your remaining. <laughs> He also has to pull a three second gap away from me. Except that I uh, may have picked one up myself. <laughs> a bit further up the road. So now it's on! <laughs> uh, it is on like Donkey Kong. Uh, as we make the hairpin okay. Um, he's going to have DRS down the straight though and he's looking very racy. Oh, he's looking really dangerous. We're going to take the inside line. The uh, idea is going to be to push him wide, except we collect the corner. And uh, that was the battle over quite quickly, wasn't it? <laughs> um, or was it? Because I think um, as we come across the line, as I break the car in frustration, um, I think we're going to find that he may have picked up another penalty. <laughs> Sorry, Storkin. Um, he did. I think on the last lap, uh, he said over Discord, uh, I think he picked up another three-second time penalty and uh, just didn't have another big enough a gap to um, to make that work. So that is um, that's P9 for us. Um, all in all, it was okay. The three retirements from Dan Man, Brado, and um, Rusko certainly bloody helped. Um, and obviously hyped up gaming, not uh, not making the start. Um, all all helped towards. Um, salvaging the race. So there are your race winners. Rosatro in P1 absolutely just led for the start to finish. Well done mate. I think that's his first win, first podium uh, for the season. So congratulations to him. Mark Lay in second, absolutely dominating as usual. And um, a regular face on the podium, Mushu Fasa in third place. So congratulations to the three of them. And um, here are the results. Everyone doing quite well. Um, nostalgic in fifth, finishing fifth, mate. That's a five next to your name, okay. Um, we're not gonna have the same incident. <laughs> uh, couple of retirements. Um, and uh, yeah, that was the Austrian Grand Prix. Um, we're moving on to uh, Britain next, which I'm uh, not overly looking forward to. It's not one of my favorite tracks, to be honest. So. Till next time, uh, thanks for watching guys and um, see you next week.